everyone. Welcome. I am really excited. Um, Bird and I are going, hi guys. Um, Bird and I are going to be interviewing um, podcast creator and uh, host Maria Therathernas. So, ah, there's, and there's Bird right there. Yes. Look at us go. Let's see who else. Oh, and we've got Maria here too. <laughs> Jeez, we're so good. Maria, we're going to hold on just for a second so we can just do a few announcements and things. Good evening, Bird. How are you? Hey, Molly. I've missed you. It's been a long time. Too. I'm excited for this evening's um, live. So excited. Yeah, me too. So people are starting to join. I can see a lot of people. Just so you know, you know, you can just sit around and enjoy this as long as you need to, as long as you want. It is being recorded. So you can always come back. Not that you shouldn't stay. We should stay. But also, we want you guys to participate. So come on in the comments. We also have that little thought bubble that's on the bottom right of your screen. Just tap it. Put your, put your, put your question in. And as we're interviewing, talking, we will kind of drop in and, and, and grab it. So I forgot to look up what we have for announcements. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just thought, oh, my God. That's one of my responsibilities, isn't it? And I just was like, I, it's because I had too much time before the interview today. Usually I'm like rushing around. And this time I was like twiddling my thumbs. But don't even worry about it. I will send, I know that Sandy is on. And so Sandy, you can send us a private message. <laughs> if we, we're, we're having that brain fog, fog right now. So you can send us a message. And Maria's saying, just wing it. <laughs> just wing it. We're there. We're winging it. Well, you all know the great thing about the challenge is they're always on one of the highlights. So just head on over there. And while we're here, you know, you guys can also kind of mention any challenges. Yeah, drop it in the comment box and we'll announce it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got Maria coming up. And then after Maria, it's like in another two weeks, we are going to uh, interview Lena from That Lena King again, because that was where I was not there. But we had some technical issues. issues. Technical yeah, issues. no Wi-Fi issue. But we'll, we'll get it right in. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. So all of that, I'm going to let Maria in. Let's see if it works. We'll see. So just so you all know, she's in uh, Australia, Brisbane. Hey, it's so perfect. It's, it's our evening. It's your morning. That's correct. Hi, everyone. Hi, Molly. Hi, Bird. Hello. Hi, everyone who's joined. I just feel it's like this is the old friends group because we keep <laughs> meeting up here. The three of us. We just keep. We've. Bird and I were interviewed for So Organized Style, um, and we're on that one. We've also been individually interviewed yep. in the past. Yep. Um, you churn out such a consistent, prolific podcast. Thank I you. Mean, thank, thank, no, thank you for that, because I know there's a lot of work that goes into that. So we want to thank you. Um, Hi, Maria. Good morning. <laughs> and, and, and I can only do that when I have amazing guests who say yes, and they say, oh, my story's not that special. And I sit there going, let's just chat. And it always comes out that every guest has got something that people can connect with. It's just wonderful. So I thank the guests for being able to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I agree. I mean, I love them. You know, they're, they're about 20, 30 minutes. So they're just that nice, like, I mean, from the time I go to the, from my house to the store, I can yeah. listen to an entire episode and I just have it going. So Maria, how did you, I mean, how did this come about? How, how did you say, oh, I'm going to do a sewing podcast and when? Um, so in 2019, I was co-hosting a live show called That Sewing Blab. That was uh, Dawn Pengelly had it and... I, um, it just happened that she moved co-hosts because Myra Lorraine was her co-host 
and she was fabulous but you know you can only do that for so long and I tried it and I can't do live. So you, you, you uh, uh, Molly and Bird, you two do live brilliantly. I can't We've do that. We've seen you on live, Maria, and you do live pretty well. You really do. <laughs> you really do. Well, thank you. Anyway, long story short, she had 150 videos, and I said, oh, I could convert those to podcasts. It was just too much. And I'd done all this research, and I thought, what am I going to do with all this research? So that's when the idea for the podcast came about and it's kind of morphed or as they say uh, it has pivoted since 2019 <laughs> yeah so that's how it all came about but um when I was learning how to podcast with a guy in Sydney he said now don't do more than one a fortnight because you run out of content and I thought oh that's pretty interesting and then if you look at um, magazines or people who create sewing content in magazines or online, you know, that's true. There is a certain amount of information. And I thought, well, that's done. I don't need to do that. I, I can't compete with a publishing company that has, you know, all these resources. But what I thought was, what about the people who sew? That's a huge ocean of people who sew. And everyone has issues that they deal with in their everyday life as well. And I think that gets covered on the podcast. And there's not, I mean, when you get a group of sewists around, there is never a lack of what, what we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. and like it just, you know, it's one of those hobbies where there's a lot to talk about, you know, from True. the patterns to skills to Problem. To fitting, to fabric, you name it. Yeah, just yeah. just pick a little piece of it and you're off and running. I mean, you know, pants fitting, trying to get a pair of pants to fit. I mean, up until, you know, that's, you've, he had um, pattern, you know, tissue fitting. You could have done all the resizing. You could have done, um, you know, made your own block. And now Ruth Collins has come up with the top-down centre-out method. And I think that's um, making sense for some people. But when you know how to do something in this other method, and so, um, you know, just that one topic, you right. know, oh, yeah. can, can be discussed for forever. ages. Well, and, I, and, I had, and you, you had Ruth on maybe a month ago about the pants, yeah. the, the top, yeah. And that was because I, I keep, I mean, I, I kind of tackled pants for the first time and then I thought I had it. And now I'm actually starting, I took a break for pants for about a year. I'm going back yep. and I actually decided, even though I felt comfortable, I was going to try her method because I also feel as so you never, like, there's never a hundred percent where you're like, I am, I mean, maybe I don't ever feel I'm going to be like, I'm the master at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, Stacey uh, Taylor, she's the Crooked Hem. So her podcast was yesterday and she's developed nine, nine videos about the top-down centre-out method. And she's, in addition to, she's done a special one. So she's done 10. Um, and so she's um, assisted Ruth to make sure that people can see a demonstration of what's behind it and... Um, how to do it but the reason I bring her up is because one of the points she made was when her mother was growing up you wouldn't have taken a photo of your backside in trousers and discussed it with your friends it just wasn't done right. but we can do that now with social media but you know that also brings okay so what are we going to do to change that yeah yeah no absolutely yeah um so you started in 2019 mm -hmm. and for a while, you actually took it on. It was part of the social so, socialist part. You had like episodes. Can you talk a little bit about that time period? Yep. So uh, in 2020, uh, March 2020, when COVID hit and everyone was in lockdown, um, I felt as um, shocked as everyone else, didn't know what to do. And I thought, okay, how about if, you, you, know, you know, when you're stuck at home, Monday to Friday, how do, you, how do you distinguish that from the weekend? And so 
I got in contact with uh, Australian Sewing Guild to do a short Monday show. Um, Sandy, uh, through, um, I contacted her to do uh, what we thought was a one-off but ended up being long-term um, show on a Thursday. And Socialist was a Tuesday. And Socialist, um, it was... They were they were the ones who put the call out for representation and all that sort of stuff, and so I thought, well, they'd be good to um, have on a Tuesday, and then Wednesdays and Fridays. Fridays ended up being mending, mending, and the lovely Amy Tute in Brisbane. She was happy to do the Wednesday where we just caught up and just chatted. So that's how the whole socialist collaboration commenced, and. Um, I found that was quite good because they have each sort of body has what it is that they're trying to put out there and I'm happy to support that. So um, that's really helped now with promoting community um, people on Instagram like Sewn Adaptive because they do videos that show how to adapt fashion for people who have, um, for people who need that adaption based on if they've uh, got um, what do you call? If they're in a, if they're living with a wheelchair, or if they've got crutches, or if you know limbs are different sizes, all that sort of thing. Um, you've got Sarah of Curvy Pattern Database, and she's putting that out every month on her own bat. So those sorts of community um, people, I'm happy to support them and get their message out there. Have I gone on for too long about this? Not mm -hmm. at all. Oh, okay, cool. Not at all. I got I got to meet Lynn and now his name has gone out of my head. I Alex. got to meet Alex. I got to meet him in person. Oh. And I did squeeze her. <laughs> it was just a living, which is good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like <gasps> Um yeah, they were at the they were at the Frogtails and I, I I know. I was like, "Can I hug you?" Uh, so lovely, so lovely. And this is right before they had um, launched Sewn Adaptive. And I'm just so happy for the both of them that they have found that and that they seem to be, you know, having a success with it. So, yeah. and, and, and also they are on tonight, by the way. So Sewn oh. Adaptive is on, um, which is really great. Yep. Oh, she is. Yep, she is. Eh? Yep. Yeah. That's why I saw her name. I thought. Gave her a shout out. Yep. Oh, hi, Lynn. How you doing? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's, that is neat. That, so you were doing, yeah, you were, you were picking different things to support. I mean, that's the other thing. Yeah. So you're doing the SOAS, but you're also like, how can we kind of well up people that we need more representation? Um, Curvy Database. I mean, she's one of my favorites, too. Um, she does so much for the community. So again, yeah. somebody who's putting so much work, you know, this is on her own time and, and yep. it's benefiting the community hugely. We have a question. Can Maria <gasps> tell us which frocktails she has attended? Yeah, Maria. Which, which frocktails? Frocktails. Um, frocktail. Well, the most recent one, of course, was So the 15 Edinburgh, and that was fabulous. Absolutely you traveled fair. all the way over there. Yeah. I enjoyed um, it. You're amazing. Well, See, we're, we're going to have to fly all the way over next time. We've I'm, talked I'm, about this. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm definitely down for that. Yeah. And for sure. lo lo yeah, lots of people went and it was because I can. Um, and I think it would be really great that um, uh, we do some sort of frock towels, which I think we didn't through during COVID. So that people who can't travel can still participate. I think that would be great. Yeah. So I've done, I've been to the one in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane. Brisbane I love. I missed out last weekend, but I was just too busy. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, we're going to do one in New Mexico. I think we should. Yeah. I had a question for you, uh, Maria. So you have, yeah. is it's over 300 podcasts i believe since 2019 and looking at uh the podcasts that are available today just looking at the month of october and guys i think we're still in the month of october i jotted it down i believe that yeah. you have completed eight different podcasts just this month what does it look like behind the scenes of so organized 
dial? Well, it's just me. Um, wow. That, that's what it looks like. Um, but but uh, we've, both, we've, we've talked about this before. For every 10 minutes that you hear, it takes an hour to edit. Wow. Yeah. And l- last week I discovered, it was an idea that I've had in my head, I've discovered how to put the audio onto YouTube. So I've now, done, I've now created a Solgana style YouTube channel because we're on the Instagram platform. So now I'm sitting there thinking, hang on a second, there is another audience that we can bring across to Sober 50. And so um, now that I've, I've kind of figured that out, um, all of the previous Sober 50 podcasts, and I think there's what, I did a count, over 160. I'm going to start converting those so oh, that wow. there is a bank of them on there. Yeah. So you typically Zoom when you're interviewing someone, which people don't see when they're, <laughs> when they're, when they're listening. So is that what we'll, we'll see when we're on the YouTube channel? So what you'll see on the YouTube, good question. What you'll see on the YouTube channel is the audience, the, sorry, the audience, the audio, not the audience. That's different. So you'll see the audio and I'll have, I've been putting up images from that guest Instagram account or from their blog. So you'll still have the audio, but the images are just static at this stage because I've never, uh, I've always said that it would only be audio. So you know that when we, when we do the Zoom, we just look like our everyday self, which is fabulous, but it's not made for video. That's true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to let folks know <laughs> beforehand not to show up in your pajamas for the podcast taping. Yeah. I mean, I actually put lipstick on today because I was like, they're going to be looking at this whole thing. <laughs> so did so I. Her- so Maria, you also are a sewist. So what is like, what, what's some of the, what are you working on right now? Or are you, or um, <laughs> what am I trying to say? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just trying to go back through my head because last week was a lot of um, editing, audio editing, getting that out, getting the Yeah, YouTube all of those tape episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You keep reminding me. I'm sitting there going, no, no, I, I know I did it, but it's done. i got to move on. A lot. That's amazing. Kudos. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so I've got four pieces of Minerva fabric that I've got to work through for really, really quickly, which I can. I've got it all planned. It's all right. I've got plans. I've got patterns. For people that aren't a Minerva ambassador, I that's is this are you a minerva ambassador yeah. maria yes yeah you do you, you have to you have you get the fabric and you have eight weeks yeah something like yeah. that yeah. yeah 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 and it's anyway so i think there's about uh 300 posts on there now so i've been doing it for what seven eight years no um, way it, that takes time so list you know people who are watching it takes time to sew don't think that you can do that in a month because you can't and you have to write the whole essay on your outfit. Yeah. Yeah. It's work. So it's you're not- reviewed 300 patterns. 300. If you have 300 yeah. posts, you've probably reviewed almost 300 patterns. And not just yeah. the patterns, but also the fabric. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Her. I'm sitting yeah. up. Oh, yeah, I did that. So you're, okay. you're, just, you're just really a superstar all the way across the, across the board. Oh, this thank is, you. I mean, I don't know where you get all the energy. This is amazing. You do so many wonderful things, so many different things. Thanks. And so how much of your wardrobe is me made? Oh. What do you think? Oh, look, probably 70% because I still like to buy yeah. some things. You got a few pieces, of course. But yeah. 70%, that, that's, that's a lot. Um, and I've just changed my work situation. And so I want to, um, I want to get rid of my suits, but give them to organisations that pass them on to women who need suits. Mm. So I found two organisations in Sydney. One is Dress for Success and the other one is Something Fit to Work. So I've got to pull those out and deliver them so that I can keep sewing. Otherwise, I'm wasting, I'm wasting resources. 
That's a great idea. I mean, I know different people do different things. Some people have the, you know, the sales and stuff. I, I, I couldn't be really bothered. It, it'd just be one more thing, but I do like the idea that you find, even if I just pack them up to Goodwill, I kind of like, well, but I like that you're finding a specific resource. That's, that's really interesting. Oh yeah. Dress for style. Falcons is dress for success is wonderful. And yeah. Awesome. Earlier, yes, No Me Sews was like, yeah, Maria, you were like, yeah, I did that. No big deal. 300 pattern. <laughs> I mean, it looks you're awesome. so funny. You're just like, uh-huh, sure, do that. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 look, I, I enjoy what I'm doing, and I'm always thinking about, about what am I going to do next. Yeah. And then how do I get it out there and making sure I meet deadlines. But I enjoy it. Um, so... Yeah, I, I don't mean to be humble, but I. That's I just you. I don't want to. I don't yeah. want. Yeah, sorry. That's just you. You're, yeah. yeah. Oh, Cliff Ann has a question. Yes. Which, uh, what is the piece of fabric in your stash that you have had the longest? And please Ooh. describe it. Nice oh, I like that question. I like that one. Um. <laughs> I'm um, already um, like ticking through my own head. I think. Um, Oh, it's really hard to say um, other than I think I went to, oh, goodness. It's usually sort of like the brocades. I love brocades, um, but it takes a while to actually make them into something so that you're not wasting it or it's it's a pattern that suits that fabric's um properties and you can't wear brocade every day to go shopping you probably could but I don't no. so that's why it sits there waiting to be made into something and that's why frock towels is good because I can make it into something to wear there yeah yeah Sandy is also what's your favorite garment to make it kind of goes but yeah is it a jacket what's your favorite fabric she's just like getting us all <laughs> Sandy oats <laughs> <laughs> and jackets they're my coats favorite jackets so yeah. when you say coats, you mean like a coat coat, not like a, yeah, I guess that's what a coat is, like a winter jacket that you would. Yeah, I love winter jackets. Um, okay, Bird just made one. I'm really feeling like I need to make a winter coat now, hearing this. I am literally, that's on my cutting table right now. It is. I'm working on another one, getting ready for the winter Um so this one is going to be a fully lined um, coat. It's hard to see it. And no, it's no, good. I'm and almost done. So what, pa so Bird, what pattern was that? And then this Maria, I'm asking you the same thing. What's your favorite coat pattern? Bird, what was this, that? This one is Wardrobe by Me, which I actually love. And they're a big supporter of Sew Over 50 as well. Because their patterns, I think we talked about this in some of our other um, live sessions is sometimes you can get a pattern and it's way off. The sizing is way off, even when you use your actual measurements, um, which we should be doing anyway. I don't find that with Wardrobe by Me. I find that their their pattern, the measurements are really true to your size. If it's your size, it's going to fit you. So that's one of my favorites. What about you, Maria? Um, I think the one that I've been working on the most is, um, I think it's um, a Butterick basic sort of chanel type jacket pattern Ooh, it's like dead that. easy really if you don't go down the path of doing the whole um interlining silk lining hand stitching and really i'll i'll just construct it with a zipper up the front oh. it ends up being a zip jacket and it can be in denim it could be in a just a soft fabric and i don't have to go down the path of using a boucle um, What's a boucle? Like a tweedy, like a, sorry. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. It's See? kind of a loose weave with a bit of depth to it. And um, it it's does kind of need. Stiff. That's when I think of, when I hear the word, I think about fabric that just kind of looks like, what is that stuff called? Now I'm, I'm okay. if anyone I knows, just... drop it in the comment box. <laughs> Yeah, I, one of the biggest thing I have learned by being in the Instagram community, I would say, is about fabrics. Like, I just used to just buy fabrics not knowing what they mm -hmm. were. 
And that's one thing I've really learned. So I always like, I'm always like, what is that? We have another question. And oh. see, 2001. That's Tell- careful. Kara Kirk away. Oh, this is tell us about your burlap coffee jacket. Or was it sugar with a big smiley <laughs> face emoji? <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Love the question. <laughs> uh, so last year I went through a phase of uh, trying to use uh, coffee bean sacks, which are jute. So they're 70 to 80 kilos, right? And um, a local roaster here was selling them um, a one, it was five bags for a dollar or something. And so I thought, I thought it was one dollar per bag. <laughs> Sorry, I ended up buying five. And I've got heaps of it. Anyway, long story short, um, I've used a new look sort of raglan style jacket um, and I've interlined that and I wear it in the winter and it's just amazing. And that's how I got to meet September Farden, which is Nicole, because she had used the same coffee bean bag. She lives in Germany. Coffee beans, coffee beans are distributed globally. And she had exactly the same bag that she'd made into that jacket. No way. Hold the <laughs> phone. I'm... That's so bizarre. It feels like such a small world when we start talking things like that. Yeah. So the, the jute is like a burlap. That's what we would call it here. It's kind of like okay. a burlap. Yeah. Okay. And you line that jacket. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would imagine it would be kind of scratchy. So... I interlined it with a cotton and oh. instead of um, putting the lining like you have with your coat, it's just interlined and then I've used um, bias to um, seal, to um, cover the seam edges of the seam allowance. Yeah. Uh, okay. I know, Carol, I love that jacket. I wear it when it's really cold and I walk around, like I walk to the shops and people kind of give me a look and then they look away. But so, uh, I've actually do had they get to the, like the like the aroma of coffee a little bit? They're like that woman just smells so delicious. You're gonna have to repost that now. You're gonna have to repost okay. that, Maria. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I know. I'm like I forget to write notes while we're talking, you know, because we have, you know, I have to write a little something about this, and I'm like, oh, I gotta write this down. And I I love Carol because she does sew-alongs on Facebook for nothing. And she does um, YouTube videos to help people sew for nothing as well. Well, and I just, when you were talking about the YouTube, I was mentioning that too. There, I think if there are such a, there is such a connection of YouTube with the wealth of knowledge that people are posting there um, about tutorials and and things like that. You know, I think, Mm -hmm. you know, um, so so live oh i can't remember her name so she so was live wonderful. so so yeah. live i mean i can't her channel, either yeah. Just, it's, yeah her her channel is amazing we are needing to like kind of wrap up, wrap up. so I, before i forget can would can you I tell people quick... oh oh go go ask. oh so i had two quick questions so where do people where should people go to listen we're listening to your podcast i like to listen to it during my drive but tell folks that may not know where they should go to listen to the podcast so the podcast is available on apple spotify amazon all of those places where you can get podcasts and it's called so organized style organized with an s not a z and mm-hmm. sometimes you've got to type in so underscore so organized so underscore organized underscore style because that's just how they accepted the name. So I'm sorry that you have to put the underscore. I've got the website for the podcast, which is so organized style. And that's how you can find it. Yeah. Yeah. And then my final question, and I'll turn it back over to Molly. Um, how, how, um, because obviously I think there has to be some cost to doing a podcast. How can we support you is there a patron? Um, I mean, how do how do subscription? How can we support you? Um, thanks for asking the question. I I do the podcast for free, and I, I'm always really flattered when people say, "How can we support you?" And I do have a Patreon account, and it's on the bio, 
and it's also on uh, the website. And um, I do, there, I, I'm, there's about 14 people who support it and I'm so thankful for all of them. Um, and it's, it's, it's only what you can give per month and you don't have to. Uh, I'd appreciate it, but it, it helps me with the, the, the platform costs and the website costs. Um, but it, if I can do things for free, I do. And I don't charge anyone and I won't be doing subscriptions to listen to the podcast because so you're doing them for free, but they're not yeah. free so folks that are listening. If you can support in any way, a couple dollars here and there yeah. so that we can continue to listen to so many different topics and issues and things um, as a, um, you know, coming to us through the podcast. So, so we do want to encourage folks to support. Yeah. Well, thank and you. And at the very least, review, like, I know some, some platforms don't let you, but I do believe Apple does anytime. I, I mean, it's a general thing in, in, for, for any podcast, but just you should really, um, you know, that's, that's something that people can do is stop for a few minutes, give it a review, only good reviews, I'm going to say. Oh, no, 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 you can, look, if people have got feedback. I said it, not you. Direct message me, because I would really like to know. And if people want to be on the podcast, direct message me or direct message you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's been lovely. Um, we like to close with, are you wearing a me made now? Yes. Yep. And, yep. and what is it? Um, it's that. Oh, it's the latest Vogue one that I did that you've got. This is the actual one that you did the. I did, um, but it was green, wasn't it? So this is the the one that I was going to make. The one that you, uh, the green one was the twelve. This is the actual. So oh. it's a navy navy crepe, and yeah. sorry, um, the sleeve has got like a piece down there. It's kind of military, but sixties. Yeah, and so it this does is have the a very actual. Kind of, yeah, I'm so intimidated to do a Sorry. Vogue. Sorry, I'll sit down. Like I have so many Vogues, and they just sit there staring at me. So maybe they'll inspire me to try me one. Me too, Molly. I've done one, and they are honestly, I think, a bit intimidating. Unnecessarily yeah. so. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> yeah. Right, Bird, what are you wearing? Um, this That's is lovely. Allison. It's a beautiful green. Thank you. Um, this is Minerva fabric, actually. This is the Allison tent dress, and it's a indie pattern um, designed by So Much Jazz, and um, she's amazing. This is, she I is think, amazing. her second or third, and I love it. It's so comfortable and airy. Yeah. And what about you, Molly? I am. It's a self-drafted. I'm working on the coats very, not slowly. I'm just working it out, man. Uh, yeah, so I'm just I don't know. I'm, Ooh. it's just a little chore jacket. What do you call it? I mean, pockets you're... and stuff. I, I got a little welt. Oh, oh you're... okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not a chore jacket. If you have welts. Okay. Let me just say that. <laughs> it I is if you're Molly. In a chore jacket. Welts really I Molly. Like, <laughs> I like to go on my construction sites and look a little spectacular yet okay. functional. Like you could, I, you could get me to like get dirt all over me, but I'll still look sparkly. Well, and with a welt pocket, that's what you do. Yes, I love it. I love it, and I love, love the it. color coordination there. I love that. This was my second version of this because I did try this in a different jacket, and I sat as a whip. Is it called for like a year? I finally threw it away, and then I was like, I'm gonna try this again. So it's a Ooh. nice little corduroy. It's like a Robert Kaufman corduroy. And nice top stitching. Yep. Thank you. Love my top stitching. Maria, it's been lovely. I, again, I don't know what we're going to do because how many more excuses can the three of us we make together? We can always have a Zoom meeting together. It's okay. <laughs> Anyone can join, you know. Uh, I know. It's true. All right. Yeah. Well, this has been lovely. Thank you so much. I think we got every, all the information. We will post it, uh, you know, all your stuff on the post. Okay. And well, if you're thanks. interested in joining um, a So50 Live, reach out mm -hmm. to Molly and me. And mm -hmm. if you're interested in being a guest on So Organized with an S, 
So Organized Style, send a message directly to the So Organized Style account on Instagram or directly to Velo, V-E-L-O-S-E-W-S. How do you yeah. say it again? Velo Sos. Velo Sos. All right. And say, and say your last name again. Ther Therathonis. How did you say it? I'm Ther uh, Ther Ther it, Therathonis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm determined not to butcher it. You're allowed to. Everyone else at school used to. So how do they you say yeah. They used to say thesaurus, but it's Theoharis. Theoharis. Uh, I mean, it's such a lovely the name. Heart. So I think that's why I'm like determined. Thanks. I'm like, Theoharis. It's beautiful. Oh, can I just say, Bert and Molly, thank you for having me on So 50 Live. And thank you for everyone who's come and asked questions and, you know, given us a heart on So 50 Live Live. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Well, and thank you for being such a huge supporter of Sober 50. I mean, it's just wonderful. You're wonderful. We love you. Judith and Sandy are wonderful. And yes, definitely. Judith and Sandy are so awesome. <laughs> I tell in the show, people. Okay. <laughs> all right. We'll see you all. Good night, birds. Bye. Have a wonderful Bye. day, Maria. You too. Cheers, Bye. ladies. Bye, everyone.